Assalamu alaikum. This is just a short video where I'll be officially retracting some things that I've said in the past. I've made mistakes, so I want to clarify them, take them back. So, beginning with probably the most obvious and biggest mistake I've, making, uh, I've made, which is that I mentioned that there's an ayah in uh, Surah Al-Mujadila in, in a podcast with Cove FF. And also in a, in a, I think the James White response video that Allah says, كتب الله لا أغلبنا أنا ورسولي أنا ورسولي. So uh, Allah has written that I will certainly prevail both I and my messengers. And I've heard I'd heard uh, some people mention of the seer of this ayah, and then I thought I had it verified by an advanced student of knowledge that the meaning of this is that the messengers cannot be killed. But the prophets can be killed, and so I think I said that uh, Bani Israel killed their prophets but not their messengers. Obviously, that's wrong, and I've misplaced the tafsir. I must be remembering it wrong because there's no way an actual, uh, you know, advanced student of knowledge uh, actually said that. So I must have, you know, misremembered it, made a mistake, whatnot. Uh, because it's wrong, uh, they also killed their messengers, which is made clear in this ayah, in Surah Al-Ma'idah, also in Surah Al-Baqarah. كُلَّمَا جَاءَهُمْ رَسُولٌ بِمَا لَا تَحْوَىٰ أَنفُسُهُمْ فَرِيقًا كَذَّبُوا وَفَرِيقًا يَقْدُلُونَ Whenever a messenger came to them with what they did not desire, they denied some and killed others. So, de denied a party of them and killed a party of them. So, they did kill their messengers. Of course, I've read these, uh, this eye and the one in Baqarah before, but, uh, you know, sometimes things just don't click uh, in your mind. So, uh, there you go. They did kill their messengers. I, I just made a mistake. I misremembered it. I mis uh, misplaced the tafsir. The tafsir is wrong. It's not correct. And, uh, you know, I just uh, made a mistake. Okay. okay. The, the second thing I want to clarify is when I went on... Shapian with Muhammad Hijab, and of course I've clarified on Muhammad Hijab now, I think he uh, he's problematic. I mentioned that Allah is angry with the Jews in Medina because uh, they rejected the Prophet وسلم, even though they knew he was the Prophet described in the Torah. Uh, uh, and I feel like that might uh, come off as me saying that's the only reason Allah is angry with them. No, that's not the only reason. There are other reasons as well, such as their worshipping of their scholars, Surah 9, Ayah 31, I believe. Uh, and also, uh, Allah, for example, lists in Surah uh, Al-Nisa reasons like uh, what they say about Maryam and Isa and uh, their consuming of riba and, and this and that. And uh, of course, these things are related to their kufr. I just wanted to clarify that I didn't mean that's the only reason. No, there are other reasons as well that Allah is angry with the Jews. And of course, uh, also the other thing is I might have made it seem like uh, that was only applicable to the Jews in Medina. I didn't mean it like that. Of course, the Jews today fall into many of the same problems. And they're, the rabbis, the advance of them, they know they know the Prophet Muhammad is the one in the Torah. And they hide it. Also, uh, EF Dawa. So, I went on EF Dawa. I, I saw a bunch of selfies go there, so I thought it would be fine. I didn't listen to too much of EF Dawa before. But... Now I see that they have this guy, Nazam, who's an Ashari. They have him on a lot. Very weird, misguided Ashari bleep. So, uh, I don't think they should be having Ahlul Bida on and associating with Ahlul Bida. And I would not go on EF Dawa again. Uh, until they uh, they clarify to this to the people, stop having Bida on. Uh, or at least ask a scholar, see what he says. And I like to see that because I don't... You know, you should not really be associating with the people of Bidah. Um, so also, uh, EF Dawah. So regarding their doubt, so I've also seen now recently or, or uh, uh, noticed that their Dawah, uh, you know, I think it's too much uh, using biblical scholarship and not enough Quran. Uh, the, it seems like in their Dawah that, uh, that the Quran is just, you know, uh, ignored. And there's a problem with that because uh, the Quran is supposed to be the essence of Dawah. Allah says, uh, the, the, or, This is what the Prophet should say to them that Allah, that He, meaning uh, Allah, has revealed this Quran to me that I might warn you and whoever it reaches. So, 
the dawah is supposed to be with the Quran, and I feel like that's being ignored in the dawah. So I, I, when I was there, I said to Hamza, I give dawah to Tawheed and Shirk regarding the Jews, but you can do, you know, what you do, etc. That might have seen like me endorsing their dawah, right? And um, well, now that I see more about it and that the Quran is being ignored, I want to clarify, I don't endorse that kind of dawah. The dawah has to be to Tawheed against Shirk and the Quran must be used. Now, you can do biblical scholarship, sure. I mean, uh, if again, I wouldn't recommend it to a layman. I mean, but if you want to go more advanced into these things, like biblical scholar, like advanced biblical scholarship, etc. Yeah, you can dive into the Bible, like scholars did, like Ibn Taymiyyah did, but... You have to have a grounding of Islam and this and that. And you can use it, sure, but, you know, it, it's something that uh, it has, you know, the, the discussion shouldn't become a situation where, oh, it's just biblical scholarship and the Quran has been ignored, which is what I feel they're doing. Um, also, uh, so uh, I want to clarify when I said, oh, I give dawah to Tawheed and Shirk with the with the Jews, like, oh, that's what I prefer to focus on. But you, Hamza, you can do the thing where you're questioning the authenticity of their books. I want to clarify. I didn't mean by that that uh, Hamza, you uh, don't have to give dawah to Tawheed. I don't know, everyone has to give dawah to Tawheed. Tawheed is the fundamental. If you look at the Quranic dawah, uh, it's all about Tawheed and Shirk. Right, so I didn't mean to say there. I want to clarify that. Oh, dawah to tawhid is a choice. No, everyone must give dawah to tawhid and against shirk. And we raised up in every uh, community a messenger, uh, worship Allah and avoid tawud. So I wanted to clarify that. And um, yeah, I've explained with the biblical scholarship as well. So they have to give dawah to tawhid. And of course, yeah, you can, you, you know, they can do the thing where, oh, we're questioning your source because it's like, are you speaking about Allah without knowledge, right? Uh, if you're claiming this book is from Allah and these things are directly from Allah with no interpolation, no problems in them, like Paul is divinely inspired, etc., is getting this from Allah and whatnot. Okay, are you speaking about Allah without knowledge? Really, what's your source? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, but again, as I've clarified, I, I think just a situation you got to use the quran you got to make tawhid the big aspect of it and uh and then if you want to delve, delve into some biblical scholarship it's fine but you know just don't forget the quran don't forget tawhid um other than that so okay so cyrus i mentioned in an intertextuality i think that surah name could be cyrus cyrus uh was pro uh, probably a pagan that would not line up but of course uh, you know, Sul uh, name could be anyone. Uh, just a, a thing of, oh, maybe our histories are wrong and whatnot. It could be some, this guy, that guy. The fact is, we don't know. So, I said he might be Cyrus, but I want to clarify. Actually, we shouldn't speculate like that. He, he could be this, he could be that. Okay, sure, but uh, right now, Cyrus doesn't, doesn't line up because, you know, he was a pagan. But uh, really, we shouldn't be speculating about these things. Um... Because Allah did not inform us. And also, I want to make a clarification on uh, Numan al-Khan, who I've mentioned that, oh, I got some stuff for the structure of the Qur'an videos from him. And also, I think on a comment section, one guy said, I'm like Numan al-Khan, I'm like, why? And he's like, because you also look into Judaism and stuff. So uh, I want to clarify. So my position in Numan is that I think so is Tafsir is strange. And I don't take from him for that reason. I think he makes quite a few mistakes and quite a bit, and some serious mistakes. So I don't take from Naman Ali Khan. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that. Sometimes I'll look at you know some stuff of interest from him, like regarding the Bible or, or whatnot. But I wouldn't take like Islam and stuff from him, you know. Uh, but uh, objective stuff, to just like seeing, oh, what are his thoughts on the Quranic structure? That's, uh, you know, that's how I might use him. But really, you know. Uh, I don't take uh, tafsir from him, etc., because I think he's a prob uh, He has problematic tafsir uh, and and mistakes many many times. Um, also, the other guy with him, tafsir doctor, is a nashadi or something, right? Uh, yeah. So anyway, those are the retractions I want to make, and uh, yeah, there you go. Especially this ayah, right? Because I got this one wrong, misplaced the tafsir, misremembered it. So they did kill their uh, messengers.